Now, if you're anything like me before coming to college, not knowing too much about the ocean, but loving it, you might be asking yourself what an abalone is. Hey, we all got to start somewhere. So I want to start off with this photo. Can you find the abalone? If you haven't found it, well, that's because it's really good at camouflage, at blending into its environment. So predators, or things that may want to eat them, can't find them. You might also recognize them for their beautiful shells that you can sometimes find when tide pooling, like this one that we have at the reef. You might also be able to recognize them from some of our shirts, like Jordan's last week. Another cool thing about abalone is that there are more than just one kind. These are two of the seven species of abalone that inhabit the California coast. Off our coast, we can also see pinto, pink, threaded, black, and green abalone. You can see this red one on the right. The shell is a little less covered in algae, but still camouflaged with its surroundings. Now that you know what they look like, you still might be asking yourself, what kind of animal is an abalone? Is a rock animal even a thing? Well, the thing is, they're just a really large snail. Here's another marine snail on the right-hand side called a wavy top turban. Both of their shells have whorls. These are the spiral shapes we usually see in snails on land as well. And just like any other snail, it has one foot that it uses to move around. And they don't move too rapidly, so they really rely on their camouflage and their strong shells to keep them safe from predators like the sea stars, and especially those with good eyes like the octopuses. Another predator that has really good eyes are humans. That's right, you heard me, humans love these guys as a tasty treat. So much, in fact, that they were hunted and their numbers dropped in the 1970s or about 50 years ago. After a couple of decades of hunting, they were protected under law, but their numbers dropped so low that they were considered reproductively extinct. If you want to find out more about what this means, check out our next video on this Mollusk Monday.